Yeah, my role here as head of performance is pretty much right hand man to Ivan, if you like, as far as in my department, there's a strength and conditioning team, there's a sports science team, there's a medical team. That's my job is to build a team of staff that we're all committed to the rugby league program and I'm kind of the link with Ivan, but in saying that, everyone is Ivan's very much a, we're all one big team and I, I love the team I work with, they're a, we're a nice tight knit group. And as far as how we went at training this morning, um, the message has been delivered to the boys about the mind and the mindfulness and stuff, so that's going to be a consistent practice. The yo-yo tests were like, there was a couple really impressive, you know, Dylan Edwards, of course, that's, um, that's why he's third best in the league at support runs because of that engine, but um, there's a couple that need to be pushed. Amanda on skin files today, they've all come in really good. Yeah, they have, like the first thought that I did were all really, really positive. It's so good seeing them in shape. Jack Hetherington's close, right? He's three weeks away from full contact. So yeah, he's, he's going to be modified with everyone else there, mate. It's just building up the contact. Mate, he was so good today. Yeah. Well done, mate. Righto, meeting done. So for me, pre-seasons are about, you can't just copy paste. You, can't, you have to work out what does this team need right now. So when, when we sit around and review last year, we all then have input about what do we need right now. And in saying that, maintaining some of your really strong fundamental beliefs. Penrith was built on hard work. It really is. If you go back and talk to people around the Penrith area, it, it's about hard work. You know, I worked at the Roosters where they still talk about, they still talk about standards that Brad Fitless set as a captain. And Brad Fittler tells me he got them from Penrith. He got them from Greg Alexander. He got them from Roy Simmons. He got them from trainers and coaches he had here at Penrith. So we have to make sure we, we keep the culture of the place as well as tweak a few things. We said lots of energy, lots of talk. The other tip now, we don't want to be jumping. Excellent, Dino. Excellent, mate. Charlie, go for him. Go, 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 go. Come on. Dino, impressive, mate. Top three there. First week's mainly about testing. We do a lot of physical tests and in amongst that, we also test a bit of character. We start to get a feel of some people this week. Birdo, we need our halves fittest in the club. Go, pick it up, mate. Pick them out and chase them. It's still who you chase them. That's it, Birdo. Nice, picked up that pace. Pick him out, Birdo. Yeah, a bit of competition, eh, Birdo? Yeah. Love that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Love that. One of my approaches and the background I have is a little bit technical around little tiny details. So with Brent Naden, it's probably an, an example there of where the physical team and the coaching team work together. So it's an attacking skill. It was just a really basic drill where we noticed he was favoring only jumping off one leg, where in fact he needs to learn to jump off the other leg in the position he plays. So that led to further homework and go and study how he played last year, study any jumping attempts he's made, uh, go and talk to the physio about, you know, do we still have that issue? Because he had a right knee problem two years ago when he was in the 20s. Hello? Nado, Hayden here, mate. Oh, hey, H, how are you? Mate, I told you I'd come and study that vision from today and yeah. also your game vision. Man, honestly, yeah. when you want to jump off that good leg of yours, like that bad leg of yours, it, you're actually technically really good. Yeah. You're, you're actually really good off that leg. It just looks like you've avoided doing it. Yeah, I, I have. I think it's a bit of like, um, like self-disbelief and not confidence. I'm telling you, we're going to get them, mate. Wait, wait, wait till we get the technique going. No, I appreciate it. Hey, hey mate, I listen to everything you say. Appreciate it as well. So and I'll work on it now too. Mate, I reckon every day. Uh, hey, I'll talk, talk to you tomorrow. tomorrow. So I'll sweep. See you, brother. Bye. See you, mate. Bye. So this was the one I was telling him he actually did really well. He doesn't like jumping off this right leg. You hear him, he says to me, yeah, that's the one. Like, he's actually very good at it. He basically acknowledged, acknowledged to me that he's avoided it for some time. The knee's fine now, the strength is fine. Um, but repetition of this is what's needed now. So we'll, we'll get Brent Naden every day and tomorrow we'll get better. And each day we'll get better and better and better. We've got half the group in here. They're doing a bit of mobility and some some mindfulness, some mind training. It's really important that we that we care about 
physical, we care about technical, tactical, and we care about the mind. So uh, it's something you have to practice. So we'll go and have a look, see how the boys are going. You would have seen them get in there and do some yoga this morning, and you would have seen them do some meditation and mindful practice, and that that's. That's just like training in the gym. You train in the gym to get stronger. We have sessions where you train your mind to get stronger. Mindful work is a practice as well. If you're not trying to train the mind, you're possibly falling behind. These players are all pros and they're all trying to get better. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with trying to train the mind, can you? So I think they realise if they can practice it and they can get better, I think they value it and appreciate it. Morning, men. We can get started. Uh, Hey boys, something different today. We have a legend in the room. So Gow, if you wouldn't mind coming up, mate. Craig Gow was fantastic. You know, our boys walk through the office in the morning and they, they see all the players' history. They see the legends on the wall, the photos. And Craig Gow is a photo they look at pretty much every day. So I thought, instead of just looking at his photo for inspiration, how about we listen to him? Boys, if you, if you know that, if you all knew now, today, that whatever you do in this next three months, you would win the grand final, what would you do, you know? Ask yourself that question, right? When you go out and train, how hard would you push yourself? If you knew, if, if there was a certain level that, that you had to get to, would you do it? Ask yourself, would you do it? Because you know that you're gonna win a grand final. Because effectively, this is where it starts for you for that, that this year. Because the fitter you get and the stronger you get and the, the understanding about how you're gonna play is always, it's gonna reflect at the back end of the back end of the year, Craig Gower pretty much un, like unscripted. We didn't plan any of it. We just said, "Craig, have you got a minute?" We didn't plan any of it, and he pretty much gave the best talk our players could ever listen to. Thanks everyone for coming. Um, as Ben said, you know this is really just a sort of uh, a launching point for what we're doing this year. So, Coach the Coaches is a night where all our junior staff, all our junior medical staff, all our junior training staff, and all our junior coaches and our managers, everyone involved in our junior system from the, the under 15s all the way through are in the one room. And it's there where they feel and, and genuinely feel a part of the one club. And I love those nights because I've been in that position. And I love when a kid makes a debut the same as they love. You know, when we had some debutants last year, we had Matt Burton, when Spence debuted, when Critter debuted, when those guys debuted, we had junior staff in the, in the crowd at training, like fans in the crowd, because they were just so proud. And, and it's important that they feel a part of it because they are, they're a massive part of it. Yes, Jed. Hey, Jed, I haven't seen you up this end of the pack for a while, mate. Well done. I, mean, I, I love when someone responds to something. When, when someone buys in and they, they know you care, that's, they, you know, when Brent Naden felt I care about that, improving that skill. I've seen him practice it every day since. You know, I've seen him go to the physio and talk about how can I help this. Like, I get joy out of knowing someone's totally committed as much as we are. You know, I get joy, I love seeing young Matt Burton, what he did when we had a, there was a running test and I basically told him, Dylan Edwards is the benchmark, mate. Have a crack and, you know, and then every every staff member is coming to. Did you see Matt Burton today? Did you see Matt Burton today? I love that. You know, there's just a good vibe, and I think that's going to lead to some good things. 